Hi everybody, I'm Chris Edwards. Welcome to Skills Bike Park. This is just ahead of our first open day that we're holding on the 27th of June. Uh, I thought it'd be a good idea just to get the camera going and just uh, wander around so that we can show you people that are thinking about coming down and having a session with us. Um, what we've got here, what it's likely to be like on the day and uh, what to expect basically. Um, we're really pleased with it. It did start off as my own personal piece of playground just for myself and my family and my friends but things kind of evolved quite rapidly certainly during lockdown uh, where we had a lot of uh, time on our hands and weekends that we weren't working that we could pile in here and do loads of work it became much more of a hobby than riding the bikes but I'm going to take you for a tour around so you can see what we've got and like I say what to expect. So immediately when you arrive you'll come into this entrance and just bear around to the right onto the grass parking that we've got here that's uh, shared by our trails park customers uh, as well and uh, it's not a very big area at the moment this is due to be expanded um, at the end of this summer you can see we've got a couple of vehicles here at the moment but basically we're now on the very edge of the skills bike park and it is as the word says a skills bike park this is not to be confused with a bike park with lots of trails and features and trail starts here finishes there about one and a half kilometers away this is as you would expect like a skills area that you would find at any reputable bike park uh, that you might visit somewhere that you can um, I'm just going to pause a bit somewhere where you can test your ability on one or two hazards before you actually go and ride a trail whether it be a green blue red or black trail you can actually just come in here and test yourself against uh, some of the features that we've got we've got loads of different uh, gradient of uh, or graded features here that uh, are quite happy to accommodate beginners all the way through to those more adventurous riders and skilled riders that uh, that like to do drop-offs and jumps uh, but right now we're just on a um, little bit of the perimeter here these red gates by the way they mark a drop uh, or a line uh, more will be explained on the day when we assign people on and you have a bit of a briefing but we're kind of around the back of uh, these barns at the moment up onto this bit these have been here for quite a while but uh, there's another another gate there and it takes you down across this area um, like I said to a few people when they come come to look round um, try and explain to them that don't expect anything too big this is a short compact area think um, skateboard park and it's pretty much the same or BMX kind of indoor park pretty much the same where there's uh, a, a designated area full of features and you get riders crossing crossing that sort of skateboard park from one side to the other continually through the day it's a little bit like this is going to have to run in that way but uh, we have got adequate marshals here ready for the uh, for the weekend uh, we've got two lines here that uh, I'm just going to walk around I'm not going to stop and focus focus on um, anything in particular um, we tried to sort of um, put one or two warning signs out as you can see sudden drop I mean to a lot of really good riders this is uh, let's just tilt the camera down this is nothing it's a little path gap we refer to it as a road gap goes into wall ride you may have seen it on social media fair bit onto a rock and roll bridge there over into three or four different lines that cross across this small pit but we're up onto a bit of North Shore bridging there's a drop there mini Red Bull uh, hard line drop straight down there and just for a bit of fun it carries on into uh, into a pump line lands really well actually just for a bit of fun we did put a Red Bull badge on the front of it just to give it a sense of occasion um, so racing around the back of what we call telephone mast it then enters into loads of different lines and there's a soil ramp outside there which I'll show you in a minute and this fans off that way down through one or two trails it then gets really random you can just pick and choose any line that you want um, these have all been tested with normal bikes and e-bikes as well but it drops down through the wood down and you can just go any way you want we're going to run this as one way only so it takes you right down to the far side there but these are uh, these pump 
pump lines in here are extremely good fun and great to practice. There's a little gap jump in there. There's a line in the middle that you can see that tape where it's drooped there, but it's yet to be developed. We've still got three or four lines in here that are uh, yet to be done, which uh, we're hoping to get a digger in and finish those, those kind of features off with nicely. Uh, a little step drop down into all these. Let's just walk through. There you go, little gap. Well, we get the kids on the balance bikes doing these. So the dads, mums and dads, if you're bringing your kids down and you want to get them into it and somewhere contained and small enough where you're not having to sort of walk around behind them miles and miles of trails, which can be a bit bland and monotonous, um, you, can, uh, you can just session little areas as much as you want and you're never too far away from either your van, your car or your kids, which is great. So you can run behind them with a keep making sure that they're on two wheels all the time and upright. Um, I'm going to just uh, tilt backwards. We've got some technical areas. We're into the area that we call wild enduro into this wood here and it gets really radical here. We've got these huge rocks. Um, now again, you know, you're not going to find stuff like this in East Anglia anywhere. This is uh, really like the real thing. So when you get out in the mountains, if you are wild trail riding, you're going to have to navigate and negotiate and pick your way through. It's not about speed, it's not about flow, but we're having a bit of fun on these and popping about and some of these uh, mini shredders that we've got down here, these park monkeys are, are just jibbing about on this stuff and it's great to see play sessions. There you go, take you down to this zone. Um, this is the North Shore section, several different lines. And again, North Shore, here's one in construction at the moment. You can see we're going to walk around the side of it. We're actually walking backwards on this one. This is our little Fort William bit, which uh, is a bit is much more for advanced riders. A little bit of a hop up. I wouldn't call it a step up. It's a little hop up. A little bit of a gap down onto a berm. Ride there, down, and away you go. Um, we're back into this area again. See how quickly it takes to get across, but... You know, it's, a, it's not a gimme at all, any of this. You're going to be panting if you are riding these stuff because it's quite demanding. So yeah, this North Shore, we figured that we'd put one in real low to the ground because whenever riders go for the first time out into the big wilds of the mountains or trail centres over in Wales, Scotland, Lake District, you're going to come across that. And uh, it freaks people out and invariably it goes across rough, boggy ground or on the corner or the camber of a really steep hill. It's never too far off the ground, but we kept ours really low to the ground. We have had some, in, in testing, we've had some riders shoot off it that have been less confident, uh, confident riders. And uh, the good thing is that they're never far away from the ground. They're not gonna hurt themselves, but the more they ride it, the more confident they get. So again, just getting used to the real thing before you head off for your big adventures, if that's what you want to do. So let's wander up here. Have a look outside, see what we've got. There are lines absolutely everywhere here. It is so compact, so many features. This little, uh, this little gem here, we've had far lads and dads testing this. It's our little path jump, getting the kids used to just, just pulling up and jumping down onto that little bit of soil landing pad there and away they go. But it's, uh, it's a great technique thing. We put that down sometimes if they're not that confident. Um, you can see there's lines coming down here. So just looking back through there, it gets really exciting once you get into that enduro section there over through to the North Shore zone. So we're on the outside. You may have seen this on social media as well. This is an awesome booster ramp that goes into dual cross, dual slalom, dual cross. Uh, we worked pretty hard at getting this up. Let's go up. This is a two-way ramp. And it's so cool to see trains going off down into the wood there and just poppity pinging off all those features. We're gonna go down that one in a minute. Um, we've got the obligatory, is this safe for you? Is this right for you signs up? Um, the wind is blowing the carpet a bit. Need pegging down. But basically you can race your mate or go down steady or just test your skills, really, to see how good at pumping you are. And if you're no good, just go into the wood there and just work on your pumping technique on the, on the pump line. But it goes all the way down, round, back into the wood that way. We'll go down there in a minute and have a look. The 
So here we are at the far end of the dual slalom. We call it dual cross because there's only two, so it's not four as in four cross. Once you're here, you can go left or right. The choice is yours. Just pick whichever line you want. And they take you back into the wood so you can go and hit the pump line. There's a line through there. We can come down this one, which is a quick link back to the booster ramp. And this is, this is a trail we call Red Fox. It's a lovely little thing. Very, very fr family friendly. And it just rolls nicely. A few pedal strokes to be had. You've got to put them in. Still it's East Anglia. We haven't got lots of free gravity and big mountains to ride. To enable us to free flow down, you've still got to put some uh, pedal strokes in. As you know, as you can see coming through here now, and off there to my right, we've got all these different uh, different lines coming through those rollers there, which look absolutely fantastic. So settled, so rock solid, and you can guarantee them every single time they're going to be the same. That's yet to happen. We're putting a jump line in there. On the outside there, outside of the dual cross, uh, we once we get lots more soil, uh, we're going to be putting a, a small version of a jump line in. So for those jump bikes that want to come and ride, do a bit of pumping and jumping, you're going to be able to do that here as well, eventually. Um, so one point I do want to make, beginners, people coming into it, this place is not going to be elitist. It's going to be designed to, we, we've put a lot of effort into this so families can enjoy it. If you've got a bike that maybe isn't up to riding rough terrain like this, but you thought it was, you went in, you bought something, maybe from Halfords or something, you very soon realise that when you get out to these uh, centres in East Anglia, like Thetford and Tunstall, uh, it's okay, but then people go past you on proper bikes that are equipped and designed to deal with the type of terrain you're riding. And you soon realise, I think I need a slightly better bike. So we're happy to encourage as many people here as we can that want to get into this fantastic sport of mountain biking. It's so sociable, family friendly, and we love seeing parents and their kids. We've, we've uh, got several friends of ours that bring their kids down here and we have lads and dads sessions. We have been doing this for years. So anyway, right, enough of that. Let's just go up here. Little lip there, which is lovely to just, it just levitates you above here and gives you a bit of speed into the entry of these fantastic lines through here. We've got Windrock there to my right. We've got Dingley Dale straight ahead. You go straight down there into ladder drops, one, two, three, four number four being the biggest. Over to the left we've got a downhill trail over some gnarly roots that kicks you off down there. It's lovely and you can come back into, let's just, uh, let's just show you. Um, here we go, I'm going to stand on number two, it's a better view. Into just a couple of jumps, little tables, everything, no big gaps anywhere, nice and safe. So if you don't do it, you're going to just pop over the top and then pop down the other side. Uh, it's just good fun, great features. Um, great features to uh, progress on, should I say, which is uh, what this place is all about, this skills bike park is all about progression. We're kind of on the outside near the car park now, and if you're coming down off the main wood chute ramp, there is a new little path that goes right round the outside of the whole wood that we've got here, which is just like our little greeny blue meandering bimbling trail around. However, if you want to do a nice, I don't know, I suppose we better classify this one as a red, but it would be, I think, a blue. You can come down off this little uh, jump, it's slightly hipped, and it takes you down, straight down, which is eventually going to go up that brand new feature that we're building with a bit of North Shore. A bit like a roller coaster ride. And it's very, very fast actually when you drop off this, and it feels really good, or into what we call Dingley Dale over the Rock and Roll Bridge in a way. Um, that's kind of it. Um, there are a couple of soil ramps on the outside of the wood, the far side there, that bring you back up and in. Um, it does link together seamlessly. Uh, there are going to be guys around on our open days in high-vis jackets that are going to help advise people which line to take and how to make things work. Um, like I said, I need to emphasize to everybody that's thinking about coming down here, it's a sessions park it's a skills park, it's not a trail centre. So happy for people to cut their teeth and practice techniques here. 
then get out and hit the good places like Twisted Oak, Phoenix Bike Park here in East Anglia. I really don't think it's been a better time at all to get into mountain biking or to be in mountain biking than right now in East Anglia. Absolutely superb. We've got some great spots to ride in. So next video coming up from me is going to be about how to book a slot, uh, which I shall do a bit later. Um, in the meantime, we hope you've enjoyed that little wander around, having a look at some of our features. And I hope it's uh, enthused you to come down with your bikes, come pay us a visit whenever you like, um, when the bookings are available. See you soon.